Christmas tree. Um, I'm hanging up the, the Christmas lights on the outside of the house, but we have some bees raining on our parade. I don't know why there's so many bees out here. It's like a super cloudy day, so like I have no idea what these bees want. Got Mr. Elias hanging out in his stroller. He looks so adorable. Kids are playing. Look at the sleeping baby. He fell asleep. So cute. This is his nap time and he wouldn't go down for his nap so I brought him outside with us. And I guess the fresh air and the breeze and the noises, the soothing noises just put him to sleep. So we're outside with the kids looking at the Christmas lights we put up. I think I feel some rain guys, it's gonna rain. Okay, so for some reason it started drizzling. It was raining earlier today, now it's drizzling. Florida weather is just so confusing. First it's hot, then it's rainy, then it's cold, then it's windy. I don't know what's going on, but I have my blankie on. We're inside the garage right now. Good morning. Hi guys.
some snacks after you guys are finished with your snacks. You can yeah. have your juice, okay? Yeah, Y'all tell me what I should or shouldn't have done. Um, Elon got bitten by a mosquito or stung. I don't know if they bite or sting by a mosquito the other day. Let me see your face, bud. And um, the mosquito bite was over here and he went to sleep and this morning his whole, that whole side of his face was swollen. And um, it's gotten a lot better. We did some Benadryl earlier and I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. But I don't think we need to go to the doctor or anything because I'm pretty sure because Giselle is the same that they're allergic to the mosquito bites, which is common in young children. Um, she has like really bad allergic reactions to like her whole, like she got stung on the leg the other day and her whole leg was swollen and hard. We had to do, give her allergy medicine and then ice her leg for her. So anyways, um, y'all let me know what you would do if you were me um, so that I know how to proceed going forward because we live in Florida and that's the nature of things. There's mosquitoes. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Drop your advice down below for me. Guess what? I ended up loving this flannel sheet set so much that I got the kids each a set and I got it in the twin size. It should fit their beds. Even if it's a little big, it should be fine. They're gonna eventually upgrade to twin size. Um, but I went ahead and got one of these sets for Elin and one for Elle. And then I wanted to shout out these throw blankets that I got from Amazon. These are amazing. They are so light, but so soft and cozy and so warm. I went ahead and picked up another one for, um, for the couch because it goes with our theme this year and i'll show you guys what it looks like when i do my tour my christmas decor tour but these are amazing i've really really been loving these throws this one is a cream color um and it, these are so soft and cozy like i can't even describe like they're just and they're perfect for florida because we don't really have like cold weather year round but because they're light they serve like the purpose of being warm as well as um, not being like too heavy and, and, and cumbersome year round. So love this. Um, got two more of these, just wanted to share that. So just wanted to give you guys an update on Elon's eye. We ended up calling his doctor and doing like a FaceTime call with her. And basically he has an, an infection that was brought on by the mosquito bite. And I, because he was outside and he had like dirt on his skin at the time, it was probably from the bacteria that lived on his skin, that was on his skin at the time. And she said that basically it got pushed down and um, created an infection. So he is going to be on an antibiotic for 10 days. And then she wants us to keep giving him Benadryl twice a day for another three days for swelling. But yeah, that's what the issue is. So I'm glad I went with my gut and just kind of called his doctor anyway, because it just, it didn't look right to me. Um, but thank you in advance for any advice that you have and any preventative advice, like we, um, ways we can prevent this from happening again. Please let me know down below.